Hey, I'm Alan. Today we're going to go over a free way to plan and navigate your overland trips and all you need is a laptop, internet connection, and a smartphone or tablet device. We're going to be using two tools today. We're going to use Google Earth and Google Maps. Now technology is always changing, so I want you to know that this guide is going to be current as of Cinco de Mayo. That's May 5th, 2020. For our first tool, we're going to be using Google Earth. Google Earth is pretty cool because we're going to use it to make our route and we're also going to use it to drop pins on key points during our trip. This may include campsites that you found on Google Earth or GPS coordinates that were recommended to you. The concept is, after we're done planning our route in Google Earth, we're going to take all that information and throw it into Google Maps so we can use it later. Google Maps is free, it's accessible on pretty much any device, and you can save maps offline. Both you and I know that we venture out into places without cell reception, so it's cool that we can download these maps offline just to have a peace of mind. Alright, so let's get started. You're going to have to have a computer or laptop, internet connection, and grab your favorite drink. All right, so here we are. We're gonna get started and we're gonna get into a web browser. Now in this web browser, you're gonna have to type www.google.com slash earth. Cool, then click launch earth. Now if this is the first time that you're going into Google Earth, it might ask you to log into a Google account, maybe accept some permissions. And uh, it might also have some tutorials for you to watch. Well, if you got time, you can watch those. All right, so we made it into Google Earth. Now, the first thing I do is I go into the left side here, and I uh, go to Map Style. And you can add whatever you like in here, but as a minimum, I like to have these three checked. The borders and labels, places, and roads. The way you change these to make sure they're checked is you just kind of click on these, and eventually, it'll go to a check mark. So just have these three on checks. Keep scrolling down, and I keep all these layers off. When you toggle this, it turns it on. I keep them off because uh, Google Earth is already pretty slow. <laughs> all right, next move over here to projects. I'm assuming this is your first time, so let's go to create, and we're going to create a project in Google Drive. That's me. All right, click that pencil, and we're going to name this project uh, whatever you're going to name it. I'm just going to call it 2N17X Camp Out. Add a description. Uh, let's say torrents to 2N. Cool. All right, so this is our project. All right, so we're gonna get started by adding key points to our trips. And in Google Earth, these are called place marks. So I'm just gonna pick our uh, usual McDonald's that we meet up at. It's a place we have cell reception, and it's right off the 15 freeway. So let's find it. Should be right over here. Ah, there you are. This is the McDonald's. Cool, I'm gonna click add to project. And this is going to be meet the Mickey D's. Great. All right, so now we have one key point here. And I'm gonna add some other key points in our trip. Some other key areas I wanna add is the beginning of the trail, maybe the beginning of the offshoot, the place where I think we're going to camp, and finally a place where I think that our group is going to want to split, where some of them may want to go homebound and some of them want to continue riding the trails. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, let's find the beginning of 2N33.
Ah, uh, here it is. Two N33, Pilot Rock Truck Trail. So we're gonna start by adding a place mark. Click this button right here. And we're gonna select right here. Okay, I'm gonna call it 2N33 Trailhead. Hit, trailhead. All right. Cool, so now we have two of these key points saved. Uh, next, we're going to move into 2N17X, that gatekeeper. Let's find out where that is. And it looks like it's right here. So once again, I'm going to click this. I'm going to add a place mark right here. It's going to be 2N17X, gatekeeper. Okay. Finally, I remember on 2N17X, there was a, it was kind of like a hilltop that I thought would be a cool place to camp, kind of near the end of the trail. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, all right. I think it's going to be this sharp turn right here. Cool thing about Google Earth. So the way I'm like zooming in and out, all I'm doing is scrolling. And uh, you can also use the up, down, and left, right keys on your keyboard to kind of move left and right. And then if you hold shift and press down, you actually get this 3D-ish look. All right, now I'm searching. This is the top of the hill. This is the flat area that I, um, that I was looking to stay at overnight. Okay, so, so yeah, Google Earth is pretty cool. You can find and scope out potential campsites, and uh, save it to your trip. It's like that. That's the camp out. Okay, and maybe you've been uh, spinning around. Maybe you got a little too happy, and you forgot what was north, what was up, what was down. All you have to do the reset is hit on your keyboard, N, and north will be north. Then hit U. Now you're looking from a bird's eye view again. All right, so I'm gonna scroll out and find our last point. Ah, here it is, here it is. And this is what we're gonna call decision point. Cool. So those who want to go back home, they can turn right and follow the trail all the way back home. They're basically going to follow 2N33, really easy going trail. They're going to follow it all the way back home. And those who want to go left and venture out more, well, we'll just see where we end up. Alright, so now let's draw some lines and some pathing so that no one gets lost. And we'll start with our first point. What was our first point? It was way out here. Mickey D's. Alright, now you don't have to be super accurate with this. You can be as accurate as you want to. Because all it's really going to do in the end is you're just going to be following a generic line on the navigation. Okay, so we found our meetup point, Mickey D's or McDonald's, and we're going to start by drawing a path from a to B, from the meetup to the trailhead, all right? And we're gonna do this by hitting this path icon. Draw a liner shape, all right, let's do that. We're gonna start over here, and you just start clicking away on the road. And to move the map, you just click and hold down on the mouse button, and you just keep going. I'm gonna hit scroll out because I want to do this kind of kind of quick. I'm pretty sure most people won't lose track of the 138. All right, so this is a turn I want everyone in our party to not miss. Please don't miss this turn. So I'm gonna get nice and close to make this pretty exact. Boom! Right here. Turn in in 
don't miss it. We're getting pretty close now. And here's another turn that I don't want people to miss, so I'm gonna zoom on really close, make sure I hit that turn. Alright, great. So, we're done. We're gonna hit enter. And what that does is, we're gonna have to name this path that we just created, so I'm gonna call it Meet Up to Trailhead. Alright. And it's right here. What I'm gonna do now is drag this to be in between the meetup and the trailhead. So everything is, you know, kind of like in the order of operation. Alright. Pretty straightforward. I doubt anyone is gonna need a path for this, but let's just create it anyway. Alright. Quick and easy. This is gonna be a trailhead to 2N17X Gatekeeper. And once again, we're going to drag this to make it make sense in our navigation. Okay. And finally, we're going to map out 2N17X to the camp out. So I actually made a mistake and I clicked out of it a little too early. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to name this thing. I'm going to name it uh, Gate 2N17X. Uh, maybe I'll call it Gatekeeper to Camp. All right, I'll save it. And as you can tell, I didn't really make it all the way to the camp out yet. So I'm going to click this. Then I'm going to click edit this pencil right here. Alright, and you see that I have points. All I have to do is drag that last point. And I'm just going to relocate it to the very end. Then I can click these little middle dots. And add additional points to move that line to make it a little more accurate. section. And we're probably going to spend the night here and in the morning we're going to get to that decision point where we'll decide whether we head home this way or we continue exploring this way. So I'm pretty sure you guys get the point by now. <laughs> it's not too complicated. Uh, and this gets as advanced as you want it to be, right? I'm just showing you the bare bones way to plan out an easygoing trip for you and some buddies, just so none of you guys get lost. Boom, done. have it. Okay, so the hard part is done. Basically, now we're just going to go to more actions. Export is KML. And we'll hit this arrow up. If you're on a Mac, uh, it might look a little different. I've only used Windows, so this is how I would do it. And I hit show in folder. Alright, and this window pops up. Great. So, don't close this window. Just keep it open. And open up another tab type in google.com slash mymaps and make sure you're logged into 
your, uh, your Gmail account. Okay, and you're gonna end up in this screen, and if it's your first time, then uh, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna hit create a new map, and then hit import. Now import, this is where you kept that other window open. Just open that window, drag that file, and drop it in here. Simple as that. Now we have to share it with everyone that's going with us on a ride. Because this is just a demo, I'm just gonna send it to myself. So you're gonna click share. You're gonna call it a uh, demo ride to n 17 x out and our weekend trip into the mountains. Okay, so now that we're all done, and you've already shared it with everyone that's going on this trip, all you have to do now is get into your device and open up your email. We're gonna go to our phone now, and we're gonna check our email. And it says, okay, there's a demo guy. All's invited. Cool. All hit open. Check that out. There it is. All right, now let's get this open in maps though, not my maps and this browser nonsense. So open up your maps app. And now you want to find that general location. So I know this is the general location. And I'm gonna save it for offline use. Okay, so all I have to do is hold and drop a pin here. Hit that pin, hit those three dots, and hit download offline map. And from here, all you can just like move it around, you can zoom in and out. And I'm going to download this area. Hit download. Alright, and the download has started. Okay, now to see what was shared with us, we just have to go into save. And I'm on an Android, by the way. You go into your maps that are saved. It might also be called saved or shared places on different devices. But basically, you want to find that route that was shared. Perfect. There it is. So now anyone can use their phone, their device, and uh, they can keep track of that route that we created together. Even when there's no cell reception. Now it's not going to give you like turn by turn uh, directions, but what they will see is a dot of where they're at. And I'm at home right now, so uh, my dot is gonna be right over here in Torrance. But when you're on the trail, you're gonna see that little dot move along this line. And if they get to this intersection, they'll be like, should I turn left? No, go straight, stay on the 138. All right, and there you have it. A way to navigate for free, to use pretty much any device and be able to share with everyone in your caravan riding with you. Now I hope I simplified this enough and uh, go and plan some trips. And if this helped you at all, please hit subscribe and hit like so we can grow this channel together. Thank you for watching. I'm Alan and I'll see you in the next one.